everybody, how are you doing today? I thought I'd show you a little bit about this uh, thermal typewriter and why I use it when I have a thermal printer right over there. Um, this is a distraction-free writing device that I just dump my daily thoughts into it. And I'm keeping my notes in a, this uh, A6 journal. I've also got an A5 journal over there, leather bound for more for writing with a pen. But uh, I'm finding that this is just a perfect area just for some short writing. And I'm using some paper from Full Memo. And this is exceptionally nice paper. As you can see, the type on there is very dark. And it is doing an exceptional job of uh, printing from here. So this is a thermal head. And there's a set of cartridges that go in here and I just don't use them anymore. But um, that thermal head right there goes up against the paper, and that is what leads the, uh, the type on the sh sheet of paper. So, anyways, what's nice about this is it is double-sided, as you can see right here. It's a double-sided A4 paper, 210 by 297, and that's really neat. So, you know, this allows you to type both sides of the sheet, kind of thins us out a little bit, and it works pretty well. So what I'm doing is uh, I'm working with A6 sheets of paper, so this is A4. So just for everybody out there, A4 is uh, this size right here. And then if you were to cut this in half right here at this line, which I, I use this cutter right here with this wheel to score a line in there. So if you were to cut this in half, you would end up with an A5 sheet of paper, which is what this is right here. And this is proportional, so if you enlarge it, it's, uh, the dimensions are proportional. So this side here is this side times the square root of 2, which gives you this dimension. So over here, this is what I use when I'm writing with a, a pen, and so I have some larger sheets of paper in there. But when I'm typing, I use the A6 size, which is half of the A5. So that's what this is right here, this sheet here. So from these sheets of paper, I have 400 sheets of A6 paper that is double-sided, so it's a pretty good deal. And then I've got a punch that is used for uh, punching the, uh, the holes in here for the six holes. Um, over here, I punch this paper with this tool puncher because I've got these little uh, rings in here. All right. So what's interesting is this is sold as an A6 notebook. This is the original paper, and you can see it's a little bit longer than this paper. Uh, it is about the same size. So it's, it's the width of A6, but longer than A6. So originally I had a, sorry, a 110 millimeter roll of uh, paper, and what I did was I just would pull out sheets of paper and punch it. This is pretty flimsy paper, and it's also not lasting as long. It browns up a little bit more quickly than the, um, the other thermal paper that I've had here. And it's only single-sided, but it's inexpensive as can be. I mean, you can't get any less expensive than that. Um, the other thing you could do is you could get a roll of A4 paper or U.S. letter and cut that down. It's perfectly fine, too. So this is my setup. I'm finding that this works really well. Here's some of the older uh, paper that I had in the past. And here's my new paper, and so I'm moving to that. So my process here is to cut this, I score it, I fold it, and then I punch it. So I just put it in this punch right here. I'll show you how this works. So it's pretty simple, there's a video I had earlier. You just line this up here, These uh, there's some indentations there. On the other side you can see the sizes that you can use. So it's set right now for 51 millimeters apart, which is what's used for the A6 sheet with the, um, the six ring binder, okay? If you want to punch it for A5, you could use uh, this right here. You just set it to the A5 setting and punch it at the top an A5 sheet, it would just punch up here, okay? But for this, we just put six holes in it. So it's just real simple, just put that in there. 
and up against the stops and then just push down on it, pull it out of there and then just tear the sheets apart. It's pretty easy, works out. I've got four sheets, I've got eight sides. That's uh, four days or eight days worth of typing on this typewriter. So this here, it's a KX W60TH. It's a thermal typewriter and it has the modes for CPI, 10 CPI, 12 CPI, and 15 CPI, or proportional font at 10. So the 15 CPI is just about the right length here, so about 50 characters across. That's uh, perfect. And for the A5 sheets, I would use 12 CPI, and then for A4, I'd set it at 10 CPI or the proportional font. So larger size as you go up on these sheets of paper and it works out pretty well. So that's it. That's is the non-distractional type of writing method that's used. What I'll do is just scan those off and store them somewhere for my kids or relatives to read in the far future. So that's it. Thought uh, I'd show you a couple things. It's kind of fun being an office supply junkie. Let me know what you think in the uh, comments and subscribe and like if you want to see more of this type of content and uh, shout out to this company this is probably the first set of rechargeable batteries that I've seen that are you know large capacity and it comes with this charger it was pretty inexpensive for what I needed and it works real well for this typewriter when I have this remote all right thanks a lot take care